What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just want to show you a ladies' watch that I, I just picked up. I just bought this. A friend of mine did me a solid and wanted to uh, thank her for hooking me up. So I uh, picked up, obviously, a watch brand from my hometown and one of my favorite uh, just all around brands because of kind of their, you know, convergence of my love for watches and for Detroit. So Shinola, check this out. This is a Runwell. It's very small. It's a 38 millimeter. So, you know, either you have to like small watches or, you know, if you want to be a, um, a stylish lady, you can pick this up. Or if you want to be a uh, minimalist guy, you can wear it too, right? We're, we live in that day and age. You don't have to explain yourself to me. What's interesting about this watch is it has what's called a coin edge. So if you're familiar with the other Runwells, we have a, a round polished case. But as you can see, the top portion of this case case has a coin edge. Um, interesting fact, coin edges um, are like this and they're called coin edges because they basically were started with coins that were made of precious metals and when people would exchange coins they would kind of scrape off the edge of it a little bit, you know, get a couple gold or silver shavings, uh, you know, kind of stock those up and so coins started getting worn away and so one of the ways that they helped uh, prevent people from shaving the edges and taking little filings is to ripple the edge like this, kind of uh, put that uh, design into it so that you would be able to see if someone shaved off a little bit of the edge. So that's where the term comes from and they're pretty cool in watches. It gives it a nice look. It gives it kind of a nice busy look. The The dial on it is all pretty standard run well as you can see this is white. We have um, metal uh, applied uh, hour markers or, or Arabic numerals, I should say. I think the hour markers are all uh, printed onto the dial. We have uh, long leaf-like hands here with super luminova on them, and they're they're polished, uh, you know, silver as well as the second hand there, which is clicking with the Argonite 7115 movement, which is pretty cool. The movement obviously has that date uh, function, so we see that in white, that nine on the three o'clock position. Onion style crown, which have always on the run walls in particular, have always had the coin edge there. So it's nice to see that mimic between the bezel and the crown there, the Shinola lightning bolt on there. And then the, the rest of it on the back is very standard run well, kind of a polished case, uh, screw down, screwed on back here. 18 millimeter uh, leather band. It comes in blue or this gray. And I think, you know, basically this model is. Um, uh, kind of one of the, the earlier coin edge models. We have, looks like a little, uh, the, the the stitching is not quite color matched. It looks like just to be a little shade different, which is kind of nice. And obviously the Shinola buckle on there. Another, another nice piece from Shinola. I really like these. Obviously I'm a big fan of the company and everything they're doing. And uh, you know, the man, they have just exploded in recent years. So pretty cool. I think a nice stylish watch, hopefully uh, she'll like it too. You know, um, like I said, indebted to a lot of people for helping the panda out once in a while. Oh, Sapphire Crystal, look how it's curved there too, beautiful. Check it out, if you want uh, Shinola, I'll put a link to them in the description. Peter Von Pandow.